All right, 15 minutes done, some fasted cardio, and what a way to welcome you to Road to Rip, episode number four. First things first to touch on, yes, cardio has been increased from 10 minutes to 15. Not that big of a deal. Um, I just wanted to get it done here at home today because I haven't been using my Stairmaster as much as I want to. I have a lot of new and exciting stuff to try out in this video, so I'm super excited to show you. And uh, if you could do me a favor, just hit that thumbs up button, you know? It does help this video get out to more people. It helps my channel grow. And if you're not a subscriber yet, join the family, press the subscribe button down below, and let's have some breakfast. I'll be real with you. This is one of the most like bodybuildering meals that I will eat. Um, after that, I don't find them that appetizing, but this right here does look pretty appetizing for a breakfast meal. And I've always been a person who like sauces my eggs up like really big and just like goes over the top of them. I kind of want to try just plain eggs for a little bit. It tastes like nothing. That's probably why I put sauce on it before. <laughs> but for a pretty clean breakfast, and when I tell you the protein, you're gonna lose your mind in this, it's pretty simple. All I did was a full carton of egg whites and then a little bit of spinach, salt, pepper, and cheese um, while I was cooking it and then on top after I was done. So super simple there. And then these toasts are the Sara Lee Delightful, so only 45 calories per slice and with some crofter jelly over top. It's like having a uh, breakfast dessert, if you will. The cheese definitely helps like bind everything together. An abnormally large bite, but binded by cheese, like I said, oh, see? So this is breakfast and it wouldn't be a full day eating if I didn't show you all the calories and macros for the day. We're trying to hit 25 to like 2,600 calories with over 200 grams of protein. I would say we're on a pretty good start considering this meal right here was 507 calories with 78 grams of protein. Very, very good head start. Didn't even have to have a protein shake for that. So all in all, like I said, a very bodybuilder-ish breakfast, but a satisfying breakfast nonetheless. All right, I've just been getting some work done and I think I just got a package. Oh, I did. Let's see what we got. So TLF just launched some new stuff. So I'm assuming that is what this is. First, this is like a, I guess a waffle knit sleeveless shirt. Kind of nice, super thick, but also like stretchy too. Then they have a new design of like their training tee. Pretty dope, take life further, like graffiti style design. And then in black and white, it's a re-release of their like oversized pump cover tees. Really, really, really enjoy these for going to the gym, just over a tank top or whatever. And check this out, two new colors of mesh shorts. Oh! With the ombre on it, that is dope. Oh yeah, that is sick. All right, so I guess this is supposed to be like a wife beater type. It's super tight. Um, it is like really thick. It still has some good stretch to it, but definitely tight. This is an XL on me and it's like very snug, but I think that's the way it's supposed to fit. The shorts are God tier, super comfortable, stretchy and just like all around really nice. Really love the shorts. But this shirt right here is actually really dope. The Take Life Further Graffiti Tee, I think is what it's called. By the way, if you wanna pick any of this stuff up, their early access stuff is on April 12th, Wednesday, and then it goes live on the actual site on April 19th, which is also a Wednesday. And of course, you can use TLF-SUG to save an extra 15%. I've been with TLF for a long time, and that's just truly because I really do enjoy working with them and I love their clothes. All right, let's grab ourselves a little pre-workout snack right here. All right, so this is the homemade bar by Axon Sledge. I'll be honest, I just bought it because the guy at the nutrition store said that he would sell me the entire box for $5 because they're expired. So here we are, lemon cookie crunch flavor, 250 calories, 20 grams of protein, so a little more calories than normal. Let's give it a bite. Uh, I already don't love the look of it. It looks like just a Quest bar, kind of. Nah, uh-uh. It's weirdly like very grainy, but also getting like stuck in my teeth. That's awful. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is terrible. I don't know if it's just because it's old. I think it's a zero out of 10, honestly. All right, yeah, I'm not gonna even eat any more of this. Um, we're tossing this, let's make something else. All right, how about something we can never go wrong with? A rice cake PB&J. I actually get this question a lot, so I figured I'd answer it now. Um, they're like, Joey, how do you know how much of the peanut butter you're putting onto these. Do you measure this and then how much peanut butter or how do you do it? So whenever I put it in, I put this on the scale, zero the scale, and then as I take the peanut butter out, I know exactly from the minus sign how much I've taken off. So that's a total of 17 on this tablespoon and that's how I track it. Um, you could track it the other ways, but this is the most accurate way I found it and also just the easiest. So with the PB lathered on, I used 35.2 grams. Super easy to track. I did the same thing with the jelly and here are two beautiful rice cake PB and J's. And they taste just as good as they look. So we're sitting nicely on calories and macros, around 800 calories with about 80 grams of protein. Very solid, and this is a good primer for our gym session today. So this is my pre-workout snack. Let's make some pre-workout. All right, so I'm gonna keep it super simple. Uh, we're just gonna do one scoop of the bulk black. This is also my favorite flavor, the cherry kiwi. Mmm, it's good. Just the right amount of sour, just the right amount of out of your fucking mind pumps. And I don't take these all that often, but on some days I like taking the nitric oxide pills. Um, a serving size is four. I normally take like two or three, um, just because I feel like I don't always need that, that much extra pump when there's so much in the bulk black, but it's a nice supplement with it sometimes. Um, today is going to be a very special gym day. It's going to be my weaknesses day. And actually I think one current weakness is my hair being crazy. So I think I'm gonna wear a hat today in the gym. But my weakness day will definitely be different from yours and so on. Um, it's really a day where you are able to go into the gym and do whatever you didn't either have enough volume getting in throughout the week or a body part that you feel like is lacking that needs to be brought up. Um, for me, I always try and hit my shoulders and my traps on weaknesses day because they are I feel like a lacking body part for me. So that's gonna be the main movements for the day and then I might try and throw maybe like a little bit of bicep movement since I didn't get to hit a lot earlier in the week. And yeah, it's a good like little catch all every, what, six days or so where you just get a little more volume in. You gonna be a good girl while I'm gone? You be good, I'll be back in a little bit, okay? All right. All right, I've been walking for 15 minutes, uh, absolutely locked in on this Sebum Full Sin podcast, but I'm gonna do a voiceover for today's workout. That way you're kind of able to get a better idea of what I'm doing. I need to explain everything a little better that way. So, finish walking, do a little stretching, and let's get into a workout. All right, weaknesses day, which has now become actually one of my favorite days in the gym. Really focusing on shoulders and traps here, like I said, and I really like starting out with shoulders. This machine right here is just a lateral raise machine, but it is real nice for focusing on the delt, which is exactly what we did. Took that to failure, three sets of that, and I superseted it with this machine right here. It's just a shoulder press machine, but I actually went and flipped around the technically wrong way so that I could press into it a little more and I liked it so, so much better. So definitely recommend trying that if you have one. Same thing here, took that to failure, then worked into our dumbbell shoulder press. Um, this set was actually a little lighter than what I wanted to go. So I moved up weight a couple times and uh, finished up with just sets of eight. So a little less reps and focusing more on building some strength there. Um, and I supersetted that one with this variation of a shoulder shrug. Really, really enjoy this variation. And actually my chiropractor told me to do it because it's a little better on the neck and back since I'm having uh, some back issues, some neck issues. So this one's a little safer. And uh, I actually really do enjoy the trap pump that I get from it. So about 10 reps there on that superset. And then very, very standard one here. We're just going to do some shoulder shrugs with a barbell. But I like taking this pretty slow, not loading the weight up very much, really Really focusing on getting full range of motion reps and keeping my neck nice and tight while doing so and focus on getting a lot more reps too. I think I shot for like 12 to 15 and then supersetted that with the dumbbell lateral raise. I don't think you can ever get rid of this movement for shoulders. It's just the all around goat. So same thing here though. I kept the weight relatively light focusing on good reps and lots of them. So about 12 to 15 reps here as well. 
everything I've done, I've done for three sets. And that falls into our last super set, which was this reverse cable fly. It's really good for your rear delts and your traps. So a really nice like upper back full upper back movement. And you don't need a lot of weight either. It's really all about feeling the squeeze in your rear delts and your traps. And I actually did three sets of this and then went straight in to three sets of a little more rear delt exercise with this, I guess you'd call it a leaned over reverse fly. And uh, yeah, it's not my favorite exercise. I'll, I'll be honest, it's okay. But uh, I just wanted to get one more thing in to wrap up this shoulder and trap workout all around a very, very solid weaknesses day. All right, physique check-in time. Honestly, that was an incredible workout. One of the best I've had on road rip so far, I think. Um, and that goes along with my weight. Low weigh in this morning to 11.6. So down, what, five pounds from where we started. Really, really good for just two weeks in. Um, and to be completely honest, I only dropped or upped my cardio just because I feel like I need to do something. If I was coaching someone else, not myself, I probably would have kept their cardio and calories and macros exactly the same with the continuous weight loss we've seen over the past two weeks. As far as posing goes, I still have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, no clue, but it's nice and I think I'm cramping a little less than when I started. Uh, I definitely notice a little bit more leanness. I'm starting to get my vascularity back a little bit, which is really nice. Workouts are feeling good. I actually want to take the pump cover off now instead of wanting to keep it on all workout. So sadly, I've been doing really well filming these, but I haven't been doing very well editing and posting them. So the only live episode right now is Road Drip episode number one. So I don't have any more questions to answer. So I'll keep this pretty brief, but if you do have any, any questions leave them down below in the comments i'll get to them in a later episode other than that all is going very well uh, i think one of the biggest differences i've noticed in this road to rip this cut than previous ones is just my discipline um, my commitment to myself has been so much better i'm not cheating on the weekends or uh, eating something and not tracking it and saying that I will later or whatever. I've been extremely, extremely on point and I think I'm already starting to see the results from that, which is really, really nice. So a very, a very solid session. Now, one thing I have been doing since I've been coming to Crunch, it's going in the sauna after my workouts, post-workout sauna. And because I did cardio this morning, I don't need to do it here, which is really, really nice. So they have like a red light sauna room here. And that's what I've been going in like 10, 15 minutes. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do after this workout. Oh, very, very sweaty. Did about 20 minutes in the sauna while sipping on my little post-workout. Took my creatine earlier, so I just had literally the post-workout mixed with Transparent Labs in here. Very good regardless. I'm pretty hungry. Let's go home and eat. Guess he's back. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. You want a treat? All right, roll over. Good girl. All right, now it's time for my treat, and typically I'd have a protein shake, but my protein's already so high for the day, I don't think I'm gonna need it, especially for what I'm gonna have for dessert tonight. But I really want a sandwich. And the key to a good sandwich is the sauce, so that's what I'm gonna start with. We're gonna do about one serving of light mayonnaise, and then about the same amount of just yellow mustard, and then a little bit of, I'm using peri-peri sauce, you can use whatever kind of like hot-ish sauce you want. And when you mix that around, that's gonna be your sandwich sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and start with two slices of the bread that we used this morning. Put a little bit of our sub sauce on each. Next, we're gonna add cheese, and I like these little fat-free singles. They're pretty much like protein squares. And I'm gonna add one on each slice of bread. Up next, the meat, I'm just making turkey. Uh, this is from Publix, and we can just layer that on. I used about 100 grams of meat. Then we'll go ahead, top it with a little more sauce. I'm gonna put just a handful of spinach on there for a little crunch. And the next part is completely optional, but I'm just gonna put it on the stove for a second and get the buns nice and toasty. And I forgot about it and it burned. <laughs> All right, now even though both sides of this thing are completely fried, char grilled, um, it still looks pretty, pretty good. I mean, why not? Let's give it a bite. Okay, that is very, very tasty. The sauce is what makes it. But what I wanted to try and make with a sandwich is this right here. First time I've ever seen these before. Hot and spicy Quest chips. And I've tried Quest chips before, they've all been pretty solid. And what's even crazier is the macros. Are you ready? 140 calories, 
19 grams of protein for this bag. I'm just curious to try this new flavor though. It looks like a flaming hot Dorito. That's definitely the best way I can describe it. Let's see how it tastes. That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes identical to the flaming, <clears throat> whew, to the flaming hot like seasoning that you get on like Cheetos and stuff like that. That is crazy. I would say if you're a hot Cheeto fan or a Dorito fan even, definitely go for these right here. Now the meal comes up to 510 calories, 1300 calories overall for the day but 140 grams of protein already. So super satisfied with this meal, the perfect post-workout meal. And um, yes, I'm still in this disgustingly sweaty stringer. I need to get changed. All right, quick shower change. I've been chilling and getting a little work done. If I wasn't filming a video right now, I probably would not have dinner tonight um, and just go straight to my dessert. But I did wanna try out something new for me and for you. So let's have some dinner. So I went to a local place and got some of these right here. So Clean Eats Kitchen. This is their XL barbecue chicken mashed potato bowl. Looks pretty solid with pretty good macros too. 520 calories, 50 grams of protein. But more importantly, this meal I think was 850 or maybe even 950, but that is astronomically less than what I paid in my MegaFit First Factor video, which they averaged like $15 a meal. So if this is worth it and it's easy to get, it could really be a viable option for someone. And while that heat's in the microwave, check this out. Now I've had this title for a while, but now I feel like I can definitely be considered the DP King. Look at all this Diet Dr. Pepper or Dr. Pepper Zero. More specifically though, this flavor right here, the strawberry cream. I've heard tons of people rave about this, so I figured let's try it out. All right, moment of truth. Yeah, it actually is pretty good. Um, I did not expect it to be good at all. I'll be honest, but it's pretty, pretty solid. I don't know if it's my favorite. I don't know if it beats the cherry, but it's pretty good. I would definitely recommend trying it. You might like it better than cherry like some people do, but both of these two are up there for me. Uh, now onto this bowl, which looks really, really, I mean, it looks okay. It doesn't look anything crazy, but it smells really good. And I'll tell you exactly what it smells like. And I haven't had this thing in a very long time. The KFC big bowls or whatever they were, but you get like mashed potatoes, corn, chicken, and whatever else. And this is exactly what it tastes like, but with barbecue sauce, or that's what it seems like at least. Big old hot steamy bite. Um, that's amazing. Like one of my favorite pre-made meals that I think I've had. Oh, and by the way, um, there is a barcode on the back and it's scanned into my fitness pal, no problem. Okay, so I have a Clean Eats kind of near me, like 15 minutes, 20 minutes away. Um, but they do have a website and it looks like their meals come out to about $8 a piece. Just based off of this meal right here, I would already want to try it out. Um, but I might just stop by the one near me so I don't have to spend the extra money. Either way, very impressed with this meal. Happy I had it tonight. So maybe look into this if you're still looking for a meal prep company or you have, wanna have options out there. Um, I would definitely recommend at least this bowl right here. All right, well, both of these worked out perfect. Really happy I tried both of them. but. We're having one more thing tonight for our dessert, and I am so excited to share it with you. And yes, what you're seeing is Oreo ice cream with Oreos in it. <laughs> and it tastes absolutely insane. The Ninja Creamy strikes again. Like it's like having a blizzard maker in your house. Yeah, it's the perfect consistency between a blizzard and a frosty. If you haven't seen the Ninja Creamy video, I go through the full steps on how to make it and everything like that in my review of it. But if you wanna make this one that I made specifically, so I used Ghost Oreo Protein. Not a fan of the protein, I actually bought it and returned it, but before I returned it, I saved like two or three scoops in a bag. So I did that with about 350 milliliters of Fairlife milk. Put it in once on the light ice cream, uh, put a little more milk in, put it on respin, pulled it out, put in four Oreos, 
put it back in, put it on mix in, and here we are. And the, like I said, perfect consistency. Honestly, the protein is not very good tasting. That's the only thing that I think could have made this better if I would have used a different protein. I'm out of it right now, but when I get my vanilla peanut butter, Transparent Labs, I'm having one of these every single night. Such an insane invention. Um, I guess TikTok is good for a couple things. Um, and you wanna hear something absolutely insane. So with dinner in and with this in, 2350 calories. And drum roll please, 248 grams of protein, so almost 250 grams of protein. Is that completely overboard? Yeah, that is completely overboard. Um, do not need to be hitting, hitting that much at all, but it's just kind of the way today worked out. And in the earlier road trip episodes, I told you I'd be hitting my protein and calories spot on a little later on. I just need some time to get warmed up. But I'm gonna wrap up my dessert and head to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned a couple of new recipes. I enjoyed the video because I got to try a bunch of new stuff. So make sure to press the thumbs up button down below. Get subscribed, tons, tons more content coming. It's gonna be a great road to Ripped. I'll see you in the next one.